Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Political Vigilante. I am still here on the road. Uh, um, one more night of shows, March 2nd, in the Zanies in Rosemont. There's a 7 and a 9.33 show. Please come out for that. And, of course, Progressive Comedy Tour in about a week and a half. Ron Placone and I are coming to Mississippi, Louisiana, and the panhandle of Florida. March 10th through the 13th, we're going to Lafayette, Louisiana, Oxford, Mississippi, Pensacola, Florida, and New Orleans, the Big Easy. Get your tickets at GrahamElwood.com. April 12th through the 15th, we're coming to Texas. Come on, all you progressives in the in the big, the Lone Star State, where all pro even even democratic socialism is bigger in Texas. So we're going to San Antonio, Houston, um, Fort Worth, and Austin. Not in that order. I think we go Fort Worth. Anyway, 12th through the 15th, those cities. <laughs> those four cities in Texas. Go to GrahamElwood.com. And we're already selling tickets on the East Coast Swing in June. We're already selling a lot of tickets. We, have, we just added two nights in Philly. Um, so... Get your tickets, guys. A lot of those, a lot of those are going to sell out. I can almost, if you're selling tickets now for June, we're selling tickets in June now, they're going to sell out. We'll try to add shows if we can, but, um, so the sooner they sell out, the more we, the sooner we can add shows. Um, uh, but thank you so much for supporting the show. Another great way to support the show is through Patreon. If you go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Um, I've been putting some cool content up this week of like behind the scenes at the, club and stuff in Chicago. Uh, I gave a tour of the downtown Zanies, which is like one of the oldest clubs in America. And um, see my headshot from 1992. <laughs> so if you, you can support me on Patreon for as little as $2. Uh, this article was submitted by Patreon member Joy Chorden. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Um, Chodan, Joy Chodan, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, it was in tube filter. So what happened, there was a um, a child video scan, a scandal happened. So, so there were some people posted some very innocuous videos on YouTube uh, of children. And there's this one, and, and the link is in the show notes below, but there's this uh, a, a Christian family vlogger, Jessica Bollinger, uh, who they do videos, uh, her husband and their four kids. Uh, and one of them's a gymnast. They just do videos, this is our, oh, look at our cute family, right? So in the comment section, what started to happen was some like pedophile started um, commenting on it and um, and I guess they were exchanging what they're calling fetishizing remarks, which is disgusting and horrifying. Um, so obviously YouTube has to address the behavior and you know, there's something like, 500 hours of video being uploaded every minute on YouTube. So they have a lot to go through. But what this, you know, and some advertisers said they were pulling out. So now they're like, we're, they're, they're threatening another adpocalypse, which is what they did about a year or so ago. And things the last couple of months have actually gotten better for me as a content creator. But I noticed this when I did the video last week or so of Kamala Harris protected pedophile priests. That video got demonetized. I appealed it and asked for a manual review and they came back and said, still offensive. All right, so we're gonna start this crap again. So this is what they're doing though. So all these people come in and say these, these pedophiles say these awful things in the comment sections of, of the kids in the videos, which is the horrifying and disgusting. So what does YouTube do? Does YouTube decide, oh, we're gonna go after these people in the comment section? They all have profiles, you could go after them, you could probably get the police involved. I had a friend of mine who was a detective on the Phoenix Police Department who investigated uh, online childhood, child uh, uh, pedophiles and child pornography and predators. So he And this is, I'm sure, could tell me, yeah, Graham, well, this is how we would go after them. So what YouTube is doing though, is demonetizing any videos that have kids? Oh, God. This is, I just wanna read you what they've done, right? Um, the, the ads were completely, this is a Christian family video blog. Okay, nothing offensive in that at all. But they demon, like, 
I hate it when corporations do this crap, right? So here's what they did. Uh, they acknowledged that the clips were ad friendly. Um, even if your video is suitable for advertisers, inappropriate comments could result in your video receiving limited or no ads. Inappropriate comments? I have no control over what crazy people put there. And this cha this channel, Jessica Bollinger, they they have 1.2 million subscribers, so they're making. This is probably this is there. I I have a pretty good idea what those kind of numbers make. That family is probably making a lot of money. This is probably how that family supports itself now. Um. She countered that she monitors her comment section stringently and suggested that rather than punishing channels like hers, YouTube remove the offending comments and ban the users. However, the company said its recent actions are due to an abundance of caution related to content that may endanger minors. It continued, not all channels do moderate and we've had to take aggressive approach and more broad action at this time. We're also investing in improving our tools to detect or remove this content. So we rely on your moderation less. And then she posted online um, all of the videos that have been demonetized. Jessica Bollinger on her Twitter account. Here, look at th look at this right here. See where it says, my five-year-old son does gymnastics and is happy, sweet, and confident. YouTube, not advertiser friendly. And then YouTube responds to it. <coughs> this worries me. And it worries because, um, and I want to read you the, the, the email that Joy sent me because it's a very valid point. Because it's not just this. Because we've seen YouTube do this when any of us indie media progressives started talking about the war machine in Yemen and why are we Syria? Why are we doing, oh, we got demonetized because it was deemed offensive. No, it was censorship. It was censorship. Um, this is what Joy says. I'm warning you now that YouTube Google is going to try to wipe you guys out, meaning I'm sure me and like Abby Martin and Kyle Kalinske and Jimmy Dore and Ron Placone and under the guise of punishing channels because of pedophiles' comments. With this election underway and burning looking so strong, also the rise of Sunrise, Extinction Rebellion, and Friday for the Future, the corporate state wants to get you guys out of the way. And that is why I think if you and I start planning to move your show off of YouTube and under other places like Twitch. Joy, you bring up a very, very valid point. Listen to this. And this is in the ad or in the uh, in the article you sent me at tubefilter.com. Let me read this last line, which backs up what Joy just said. YouTube also said it was hiring additional social workers, child development specialists, prosecutors, that's a good idea, and former FBI and CIA employees to help handle the issue. See, that's where you lost me. Why do you need the CIA here? The CIA, pretty sure they don't investigate pedophiles and child pornography. That's local law enforcement and the FBI right? Why would the CIA need to be involved in that? This is a local law enforcement issue. The Central Intelligence Agency? So now they're going to be involved with YouTube. So thank you, Joy, for bringing this, this to our attention because it is like you know, this is what they do. They keep coming after us any way they can. I'm glad they're going to go after pedophiles. I'm glad. That's horrifying that uh, that pedophiles have like flourished in this digital age. It's 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 sickening to me. Um, as someone who is a, a survivor of, of child sexual abuse, it's, it's horrifying. And talking to my friend who was a cop about what he's had to see and go through, it's horrifying. But but then, of course, they use this to bring the CIA involved to censor. I'm going to pay close attention to this, obviously. I'm going to keep posting my videos on YouTube, you guys. But it's a reason why my ad revenue on YouTube has actually gone up. And I wonder if they're just going to boom, cut it in half again. Which is why I need your support on Patreon.com, guys. You can support me for $2, 5 10 $25 a month, anything. Whatever you can afford, I appreciate it. 
I have a P.O. box. Some of you feel more comfortable just doing that. I have a PayPal donation button. All of it's at GrahamElwood.com. Thank you for supporting the show. Thank you for sending me these articles, Joy. And thank you all for making Gotham great again.